in here in Miami for Virgin's Voyage. Earth. About to set out, but first we got to get our COVID test. We are with a group, so we get priority boarding. Uh, so happy about that, but we're here early. Anyway, let's go. I'm excited to get this COVID test done. Ready to wait a little bit. Results come back. We can get on board. I can't wait. Virgin, here we come. All right, so because we're with a group, we get the priority boarding, and they told us once we get tested, we're going to get a red band. Uh, but once we get on board, we can take it all off. Cool. All right, so I thought we were just doing the COVID test, but we're, what else are we doing right now? Not more than just the COVID test? You're going to go through screening. Oh, screening as well. Absolutely. Okay, so. After that, you go to COVID test. All right, so at the COVID test, you've got to put your electronics away. Um, you've got to be ready to go get fully screened. So, folks, we shall see you on the other side once the COVID test is complete. And we'll let you know how it went, okay? But I'm not getting kicked off this cruise. I'm going to conform to, or not conform, I'm going to do what they said to do. Anyway, come on. Well, we just got our COVID test done. We're going to go to another section where we're going to sit and relax for a little bit until our results are in to go on board. Now, we are walking through the same area we came through, uh, but we had our bags screened already. Now we're walking through the same area again. It's kind of weird because this is unsanitized, meaning it's already been done. Anyway. Uh, I hope trustworthiness is there. But we're going through. We are going through. We are ready. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right, y'all officially ready. Yes, we're ready. Not be going through security again, but we are. Nice. Okay, so just be prepared. All I gotta tell you, we went through. We got screened once. They said, nope, that's it. All right, we're in line for the check-in, and I've already received the email. It's like four or five minutes later, it felt like, but it was, what, 15? About 15 minutes, I got my negative results already in my email. Pretty cool? I don't mind that at all. It is time to get on board. All right, the next line is we're showing our passports, and we're showing our vaccination cards as well. Here we go, here we go, one more time. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so she's checking... She's checking our passport, she's checking our vaccination cards as well. We are ready to go, we are so excited. Oh, I tell you, you can feel the vibe in here. Everyone is like, let's just go with the flow and let's get on that ship. All right, so we've gotten our results. We are called to come up to the steps and take a right and there's a room back here where we'll be hanging out at. When you come through, they got some beverages for you. Come through. They got little spots for you to hang out at, but there's not enough room for everyone. And this is just for like minimal capacity. So they're not ready. They are definitely not ready. I think there's another uh, terminal being built for um, Virgin right now. We've got the separated uh, communication. Right now we're in the largest group. We are all to go together is what we're told. So do we need to wait for a while? Nope. So we're gonna, all we're doing is we're, all of our sweets guests will go first. They okay. will go first for everything. And, yep. then, and then we'll do the orange band Perfect. and then general order. Perfect. All right, so we wait until that. All right. So they gave us good answers. We're ready for that. You got an orange band. I see your orange band. I think they're all together. Y'all together? Perfect. Oh, thank you. Hello. Thank you. Absolutely. Enjoy, man. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I'm a flight attendant, so I get to go out and do a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that could be dangerous. <laughs> They got a tree on there? They've got a tree? You see that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is the... Groundskeeping team. Thank you. For their area where it's all plants. Nice. And this, I take it, is going to be the new terminal? 
The mask is off for the time being. Everybody here has been tested negative for COVID. Thank goodness. All right, we are here on deck 13 and he's going that way. That's where I'm following. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're in. Ooh, you hear the music? Mm -hmm. And the curtain's open. Oh, they just did. It'll only do that when you first board. Oh, this is us. So everyone talk about there's no storage space. There's storage space right there. This is the bed. Oh. All right. All right, this is gonna be a quick inside of the room without us, uh, our stuff inside of it. But we've got the bed already laid out, ready to go. This transforms into a couch. You've got your cow, uh, TV right here, mirror to make sure you're all pretty. T uh, you got your phone, you've got your tablet device, chair to hang out, and all of these um, outlets are available to go. Now look, everyone has been talking Everybody's been talking about not having enough room, but look at this. This is, I could put a suitcase here. I could hang up a lot of my stuff, put some stuff up top here. I can cover it up just so it act as if it's a, a closet. It's shimmery. It's beautiful. I got a safe here as well. A holy salad. The, uh, these are the pool towels. So you got your pool towels and of course you've got your um, life vest as well. We're back into the bathroom. All right, so bathroom is just, I'm guessing it's a little simple. Hi, y'all. Hi. All right, so the bar of soap is already opened. All right, so if you don't want my, if you're worried about that, bring your own. It does say red flower on it. I'm not sure. It, it reads red flower. All right, biggest thing. This is the biggest everyone wants to know about. This is it, the shower. Oh, it's spacious. All right, and it's just a single wand with an overhead shower all right which is good and they've got so you can go to the pool and put this together and bam you've got yourself drying facility for your uh wet clothes comes with hair wash conditioner and body wash as well i can already see the level down here is halfway done this here up top here here so it does need refilled maybe not on this voyage but anyway it's uh just for perspective, I can get in here, move around all I want. I'm a big boy. Anyway, I think it's a decent size. All right, <laughs> trying to hurry this up because we got so much more we want to see about this ship. All right, your restroom facilities, you've got your toilet in here, two rolls of toilet paper, and thank you very much for having a cleaner as well because I have been in some places and I've had some friends over and they've left some marks that I don't want to see. So thank you for having that there available. All right, the rest of the spot is, it's fairly cozy. I think it's fairly cozy. Take a look. Underneath as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that could be used as well for some storage of your luggage and such. All right. They've got a um, bottle of water ready for us, two of them. They've got this for sale for $25, it reads. So we were told that there was going to be a free gift on the board and there is not. So when I called to make sure my future voyage credits were going to be used, she's like, yep, yeah, and you got a free gift. Then nope, I see nothing. And what I also don't see with this cruise is there is no uh, towel decorations such as bears or anything like that. You know, rabbits or bunnies or whatever. So the bedding doesn't have that at all. All right, what is this? This is freshly laundried. Uh, oh, that's a throw. Nice. All right, and that belongs to us. So like I said, this is a couch that turns into a bed. This is what we've been looking for though, is out here. Out here, come on, where are we open? Open up, here we go. All right, we've got this hammock. Nice. So we got a balcony terrace and we can look at the port here. But at sea, we get to look at whatever Earth has to show us. Anyway, this, uh, this hammock, 
I am excited to get into this myself. As I understand, this is made in Thailand, and I'm looking at this sign here, 100% um, handwoven in Thailand. So, it does have a size you cannot exceed, and that's 330 pounds. Woohoo! I made it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm far from that. The balcony is ready. You've got a divider here. So the people beside you on that side, the people on this side, you have basically a, uh, a private area. And I'm looking over. And this is what it is. All right, y'all. So this ship has so much more to offer than just this room. So let's get out of it and let's go find out and meet up with some friends and see a little bit more. I'm trying to find out um, why we didn't do the champagne toast. Now, I thought we did. That was one of the, my first impressions was as soon as we got our COVID test results, we walked through, we had a champagne toast. That didn't happen. This is their sixth sailing. So when you're watching this video, some things may have changed since then. But for us, there was zero champagne toast. Um, but I did purchase a package where I was able to receive uh, beverages of my choice at um, a good rate. Anyway, I'm ready. I want to unpack a little bit and head on out. Follow along, y'all. This is day one. Room 13, 8 to 14 are VIP suites and cabins. Uh, this is gonna be. We'll walk in. I don't know. No, it's not down. It's gotta be up. Is he, up. Is he over there? Gumbe is at 15. He's in act. Yeah. 15 is where a lot of the um, restaurants are, such as the galley, Gumbe, which is a Korean. Uh, they've also got the gym and tonic. Wonder what that is. Aquatic club bar. Let's go over. Let's find something. Is anything open just for alcoholic beverages and such? Yes, any food? Food. any food on this line? Yes, all the way to the end. The galley? Oh. The galley for food to go grab a little bite to yes. eat. Perfect. Yes. All the way to get the end. All right. Thank you. Here's the pool area. Everybody's been talking about this pool. It's a really small pool. And that's okay. What? Okay. Ah, uh, the infamous hot tubs. It's fairly, yeah. I mean, I could deal with that. I could sit in that. It smells like human waste, though, right now. I'm not going to lie to you, it doesn't smell good. All right, I'm out on the ship now. They check you in and they put you in front. Walking into the galley. First thing you go is gra uh, grab and go quickie, snack it up. Grab some other stuff here. Walnut, pomegranate, dip. Yes, thank you. Roasted chicken salad, chateur. Sorry, didn't mean to be in your way, y'all. Sweet side, look at some of these sweets. Tropical cheesecake. Hi, thank you. You got some of these beautiful tropical cheesecake. You got a s'mores jar, it comes in a jar itself. Macaron. Akai panna. Contains, uh, yeah. Look at some of this stuff. It's so cute. The Scarlet Lady herself contains nuts. Thank you. Your first meal on the ship of the Scarlet Lady is a salad. With a little chicken. We got the Greek salad. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You want your? And there it is. That simple. Pretty simple. Not gonna lie. Pretty simple. Is that a donut? 
<laughs> They've got the bread, which is uh, freshly baked. It's a book. It reads, Happy Halloween. Yes. Any events? I want a hamburger. This is a burger bar. I want one. Oh, they got all day breakfast as well. Almost, you can build your own. Oh, so. Yeah, let's sit by the window. Um, so, we did a little bit of research, not a ton, when we came here. But we did find that um, there is places to eat outside of just the regular restaurants you can go to. So they got burgers. Ooh, they got tacos. I'll just change my mind. I'm doing. I'm talking about it. I want to let's talk about it. I want to do that. Tacos. Yeah, I'm doing that. I want to ask to do that. Yes, thank you. You are too. Yes. Oh, wait, wait they got noodles around too. Here's the problem. Day one, you come here, you're hungry because you know you're going to eat on the ship. There's just so much to choose from. What do you choose? What do you do? Oh, we'll figure it out. All right, got to find out where to order from. All right. This is table service for here? Okay. And is it just let's talk about taco about it for table service or does that also include the noodles around oh, noodles all around, of them the bread, all the wonderful can i just sit down right here with this gentleman and then grab the menu and see what's going on okay awesome awesome he's wonderful thank you all right so it was not just a walk up spot. You can sit down and do this. I, the noodle, yeah, noodle around as well. I'm gonna go to the spicy Tanaksu ramen. That's what I'm doing. Even though I wanted a taco. All right, we just ordered our very quick lunch. We have dinner plans tonight, and I asked, what are the times? So embarkation time, he said they're going to close, what do you say, 6 o'clock? Embarkation is 6 o'clock, but normally at 3, and then they'll reopen during sailing, maybe 6 o'clock or so. So anyway, what I'm getting at is embarkation day, come up, grab some food before you go um, sail away for your dinner and the rest of the time you're going to have to figure out the timing because it keeps changing right now there's no set time as we're finding out uh, as to when things are open but you know during your sailing they're going to have it set but it may change the next sailing afterwards so at the time of this video there may be some changes as to whenever you preach just want to let you know because there's a lot to choose from and I want to have make sure that you get everything you're wanting as well. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Oh, it's a bento box. Yes. Love it. Where y'all from? Texas. Texas, what part? Fort Worth. Fort Worth, all right. I'm a flight attendant out of uh, uh, DFW. Oh, you are? Yeah, what so American. Thank you. American. Love it, love it. We're retired American. Oh, are you really? Oh, wonderful. Awesome. No, no, they missed me. They missed me. Well, I don't know if you guys No, uh, I will. <laughs> I'm not going to let somebody hit me and get away with it. Yeah, they've done that several times. Yeah, yeah it is. I guess that just perks them up that they can get a Ah, uh, who would imagine that it's acceptable? Nobody, nobody. But you know what? We're gonna have a great time here. We're on the uh, Scarlet Lady, and this woman will take no. Sh I'll tell you what. She. 
Uh, we're at 13Z. We're at 12. 12? Yeah. Awesome. Well, we hope to see y'all. It's here. And you're getting. We're not either. We're going to have a great time, though. I promise you that. This is the tap that hot. If you want something warm, grab it here. Awesome. Great meeting you. My name is Matt. My name is Neva. Neva? Yeah. Hi. Hi Jane. Hi Jane. Wonderful. She's my better half. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. So my mother's name is Eva and my grandmother's name was Jane. So it's easy to remember Neva and Jane. Awesome. Well, we'll see y'all later. It may not be able to be remembered at that time. We may not. We we may forget that. Hey. Hey. Hi. How are y'all? On this cruise, we're gonna try not to do the Instagram photos. We're gonna to try to go real life. You know, as we're eating, we're grabbing. So I just wanna let you know that I'm already impressed. These are street tacos you can get to your table. And I can't wait. We got some ramen as well. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna have some of this. I think I got a great selection, personally. As we're sitting at lunch on our first day, the embarkation day, we're trying to figure out how to set up our Wi-Fi. So we selected the Wi-Fi that we thought we should, which was the uh, Mermaid for You Spider Lady. We put in the date of birth, we put in our um, uh, room number, and it's not connecting it. So we don't know when, the Wi-Fi will set up. But this is free Wi-Fi during the duration of the cruise. So we'll try to get that information for you um, to let you know what connectivity, uh, what is it, IP, what's it called? The, which which Wi-Fi you're supposed to connect to uh, for the internet, yeah. Because right now we can't connect. And this is embarkation time, but we just got on board, what, 45 minutes ago. So, yeah, we're here, already getting our lunch. We are so ready to sail. Oh, it's been a long time coming. Anyway, we'll get that information for you. I was just talking about how salt and pepper on the table, they come like this, they look like little lighters. But um, there's two of them, and I'm just saying, I've missed that a lot. Due to COVID, you haven't been able to see those uh, on tables, like hardly ever. It is so wonderful to know that everybody is vaccinated. It's wonderful to know everybody is COVID free. Masks can come off and normalcy can come back. Well, our first meal on this ship is complete. We had a quick lunch. It was so good for me. I had a ramen, um, deliciousness. Had a couple of tacos for him. And it's enough to get us through. We are not big eaters, meaning we didn't eat uh, lunch. We didn't eat breakfast. We just want to come on the ship and then we got dinner. Here in a few hours, so okay, here's your tacos. I can already oh, tell yeah. I'm gonna have to watch my weight on this ship because the food is really good. All right, so much more to see, so much more to do. Follow along. Oh, we got hot off the press over here. What is this? Looks like the grab Oh, this is a avocado toast. Crunchy PB and J on the brioche. Banana and Nutella, yum. I'll do that. And you do order right there for that. You can get a buffalo mozzarella, a grilled vegetable, shrimp panini. All right. Well, one thing about me is I am allergic to shellfish. You will see me eating shellfish. I do love shellfish. I'm ready, I got my uh, Benadryl in my bag. Normally I carry an EpiPen. I didn't bring it this time, so I gotta be very careful. 
All right, well, we just got a message on our phones that we must watch the safety video. And so I asked one of the crew members, what else? And so at 4.30, we are also required to go to the muster station um, where we're gonna tap our bands, which our bands are these, um, to let them know that we've already been there. So we gotta do that. It's a requirement before they can set sailing that every passenger uh, does these drills. Anyway, if you check your baggage um, for them to be delivered to your room, it looks like they're already starting to make that delivery here. We did not. And those delivery tags shows what rooms they're at. So their baggage is available. Anyway, I, uh, one of my biggest questions I had was the mustard, um, the mustard, excuse me, it's not a condiment, it's a mustard, um, as to how that takes place because I saw a lot of videos that only did it in the room and then I saw another one where they did it um, in a group setting. So on today's sailing, we are doing it at a group sailing um, or setting as well for this adventure. It is time to go to our muster and it's like nobody's here. We're running into like one person so far as we're walking down. This is so weird. All right, well we just did our briefing and basically Don did life best for himself. Showed us uh, how to turn it on. There's a whistle in there. There's a uh, life line that you can throw to somebody else to grab a hold. Uh, basically it was the most easy uh, drill I think anybody could ever encounter. So these themselves are the uh, vessels in case of an emergency. They can hold 305 persons. I don't want to go in there, but that muscle drill, they did it by video. Before you go, we did have a couple watch it while the gentleman was describing as to what to do. Please don't be that person. It was quite rude. Um, it was hard to hear the, the uh, cast, uh, the, you know, member. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can walk in, you can get a haircut done, get your beard shaved. Yeah, pretty awesome. You can get that done. Y'all already set, set that up? Yeah, I set up my Oh, nice. Yes. So, when did you guys set that up? How did you go? On the app? Right, right from where we came down. Ah. Like to book something. Gotcha. In here or at the desk? No, right here. The desk right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they tell you what options are available. Ah. All right. I guess so. Because, yeah, our app has not been working at all. Oh, delete it and re. We did. We did. Yeah. So, so. Both of us. Okay, I don't then, say it's um, terrible because it's got go some yeah. mode, but it's also like, like, oh, but it doesn't do something that you would expect it would do. It took us a couple hours just to get that open for us as well. So, oh well, we're here. So right now we're trying to navigate and try to find things, but I have a feeling here just like one or two days. Hello, hello. <laughs> I think here in one or two days, we're gonna know exactly where everything is. We're walking into the spot area right now. Let me take a look at it. This is on, uh, yeah, I'd love, we'd love a tour of the spot. This is on deck five. Hey y'all, so we just ordered two drinks. Um, this is our embarkation day. I got myself an old fashioned, it's almost empty. And we also got a uh, BBC um, banana something and rum. I don't know what it is. Uh, Peanut butter type of thing with rum in it. Anyway, so I got those two drinks, and here on the um, uh, Scarlet Lady with Virgin, you pay basically as you go. So we did get ourselves a um, bar tab in advance. So we paid $300, and with that, we were able to get another $125 on top of that given to us because we're sailing within their first year. Anyway, those two drinks alone cost $25. US dollars and tips are not um, 
required here, but they do have a tip jar that you can provide if you want to. Currently, uh, this place is at uh, minimized crew, and also, not minimized crew, excuse me, it's also minimized um, uh, attendance, so people on board. So if you want to tip your bartender, anyway, all right. Twenty five dollars for two. I'm not sure how long that bar tab is gonna last me. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm on camera. You're on camera. <laughs> One of the best things I do like about this Virgin Cruise is that they are keeping track of your water. So we've had three beverages so far. Two of them, the price um, came out to be. Grand total, you think I'm ready, right? I want to see it. Of uh, $24.84. So those are two beverages. One was an old fashioned one, the other was like a pina colada drink with some rum in it uh, called a BBC. And then my other drink I got, $6.48. And that's four beverages of my choice. My favorite's beer. And like I said, six forty eight. So the grand total so far, the three drinks is $31.32. So they keep track. I like that a lot. Hey, is that the rose and is it ready? All right, so Virgin offers a set away sailing. They've got uh, sparkling wine available from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. We're still here at Port. Soon we're going to be on our way, but look at this sunset. My goodness. It's covered right now by the uh, high rises, but it sure is gorgeous. I can't wait to get out of here. I can't wait to enjoy everything that this ship has to offer. And this is a sick sailing. And if you can hear the music, yeah, it's a great time already. Cheers to you. Hey. Cheers to you. Cheers. They ran out the other end. They ran out, they got plenty down Uh-oh, I got time. You better hurry. I hope so. All right, so we are day one. We just set sail a little bit ago and it is 10 42 p.m i am around the pool area and it's dead i mean just dead not only is the pool area dead but the bar area is dead as well like there's no uh place to get an alcoholic beverage beverage of your choice if you want everything is closed up so I don't know where one would want to get, if they can. Seems so early. Like I said, it's only uh, 10.43. Uh. So even though there's no alcoholic beverages, it does look like they have some water stations that are available that I missed earlier. And it's starting to get really windy because we're on the move but they, you can put your water bottle in here and get that taken care of. All right, as I walk to the end of the uh, pool, the deck, I saw a hot tub. I think I'm finding maybe a spot to get a beverage, maybe. We shall see. All right, so I finally found a spot back where I was earlier and it smells really bad. I don't know why. But I was able to get my beverage of my choice. The smell is strong. Uh, hey y'all, so day one is over. We are on board the Scarlet Lady. It is nighttime. It, we are out to sea and dinner has been completed. It was amazing. Anyway. If you like this video and others like it, hit that subscribe button. Also, click that bell for future notifications. Hit that like button. Also, please, we are having so much fun making these videos. And we love bringing you along every step of the way. All right. We have more to see with Scarlet Lady. We can't wait to have you join with us. All right. Follow along. Bye.